Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this, this is Will with Travel With That Guy. Uh, before we get started, I just want to um, take some time here to thank everybody for watching the videos. Uh, those of you that have been uh, liking, subscribing, it's really helped me out. It's given me good feedback on uh, what's, what people like, what people don't like. Um, please continue to do that. It definitely helps not only me um, know what kind of things you want to see, but also it gets these videos out more. Uh, the more that you like videos, the more that they actually get um, shown out to other people through YouTube's algorithm. So that definitely helps out. Um, then obviously subscribing um, more and more gets um, helps me out uh, tremendously. Um, definitely have numbers that I want to hit so that I can bring even better content to everybody out there. So please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. That would definitely help me out. Um, now on to the main part of today's video. Uh, today is Thursday, December 30th, and this morning uh, the CDC came out and announced that they are advising everybody to not cruise at this time. They're not locking cruises down. They're not telling cruise lines that they have to close. They are advising passengers not to cruise. Of course, a lot of this has to do with uh, the current Omicron variant running around. Um, so, you know, I have some personal feelings on this. Um, let's go over some things first. Uh, first, Clea responded to this earlier today. And for those of you that do not know, Clea is um, basically the cruise line, the main cruise line organization. And um, they basically said, and I'm going to put up the photo of their statement. It basically says that it's particularly perplexing considering the cases identified on cruise ships consistently make up a very slim minority of the total population on board. And the majority of those cases are asymptomatic or mild in nature, posing little to no burden on medical resources on board or on shore. Um, they also go on to say that no setting can be immune from this virus. However, it is also the case that cruising provides one of the highest levels of demonstration demonstrated mitigation against the virus. Um, and then they finish up by saying why we are disappointed and disagree with this decision uh, to single out the cruise industry, an industry that continues to go above and beyond compared to other sectors. CLIA and our ocean-going cruise line members remain committed to working collaboratively with the CDC in the interests of public health safety. A couple other things that I saw th through this today. Um, someone posted um, that Royal Caribbean um, released some information about their te their positive tests uh, and since they have opened back up since the pandemic closure they have had less than one percent and even farther less than one percent um, of their uh, cruise passengers test positive I mean, I believe if I re remember seeing the number right, it's like 0 0.001, might be 0 0.01, but be that as it may, it is, it is a very small number, less than 1% on their cruise line have tested positive. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line came out today and um, in the interest of safety and everybody's well-being and... Um, anxiety that's going on because of this, they have decided to allow any passenger that are currently booked on a cruise, um, and they're basically allowing them to cancel their cruise. They would get future cruise credit in the amount that they've paid towards that cruise. And this also goes if they've paid in full, um, and they can use it on any cruise throughout um, 2022. Uh, so that is a good gesture because I know that last week um, when they started um, mandating masks on board, they were telling people no refund, no fr no cruise credit. Um, you either go or you lose out. Um, now with this coming out, they've changed and they've said, okay, you cancel. Uh, we will give you future cruise credit in the amount that you've paid for any cruise um, throughout 2022 that's a goodwill gesture on, on Norwegian's part. Um, I haven't seen anything from other cruise lines yet. Um, some may just extend what they're doing already. Um, as always, if you do have a cruise coming up on 
a cruise line, please reach out to either um, the the provider or reach out to your travel agent if you book that way. Uh, my thoughts on this, I mean, I can understand where they're coming from, um, but to single out cruising seems kind of overbearing, especially when you have another mode of transportation, um, air travel, where you are literally stuck inside a metal tube for X number of hours um, next to someone or some people that may or may not be vaccinated, may or may not have COVID because you don't know, they're not required to test to get on, on a plane, at least not within the United States. Um, you have to wear a mask. That's about it. Um, versus to get on at least Norwegian, you had to go through, te you had to be vaccinated, 100% vaccination. Um, everybody's masked on the board, on, on the cruise ship now. Um, they all were tested prior to getting on the cruise ship. So, there's, and the, the one of the bigger differences is that you can pretty much, regardless of the cruise ship that you're on, and their policies on who has to be masked, who doesn't have to be masked, you know, what a vaccinated person versus an unvaccinated person can do. There are ways around being around people. If there are too many people um, where you're at, you can go to another location. You can go back to your stateroom. You can go outside. You can um, do, do a lot of different things. On an airplane, not, not the case. You're kind of stuck next to whoever it is that is sitting next to you until the plane lands, the door opens, and you can get off the plane. So, a little bit of a difference there, um, at least in my mind. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't think this this is a good play. I think I think it might be wise just to say, hey, keep in mind this is out there, but it's never going away. You know, we're going to be in a position where COVID in some form. Um, is going to be out here, you know, pretty much forever now. Um, we will eventually get to a point where it is no longer a pandemic and it is an endemic, much like the flu. But it's never going, it's not going anywhere anymore. We just have to, regardless of your feelings on it one way or the other and what, how you feel, if you feel something should be mandated or not mandated or whatever, regardless of any feeling that you have on it, this is the way life's going to be now. And we're just going to have to we need to learn to adapt to living our lives with this um, this virus running out there. So that's what I got today uh, on this topic. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Leave a comment down below and uh, we can have a conversation. Uh, if you're in the mood to book a cruise and the fact that the CDC just came out and advised everybody not to doesn't sway you one bit, uh, drop me an email down below. I will leave my email address in the description and let's get something booked for you. Um, until next time, we'll see you later.